Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. And now, boys and girls, we are. It's this episode and one more episode at least for this season. Um, we. It can be that we will. If we end up in a playoff um, position, we will, of course, have to do a couple of or at least one more episode than that so two episodes with this one is left and uh, it can become three or four maybe even five i don't really know how many turns there are but it will be hard of course i don't think that we have a very good chance of reaching wembley if we even reach the playoff promised land so game against Hungerford tomorrow. So let's move on there in 7th position, position, which makes us a bit of a favourite. So let's hope that we can do something about it as well. Gums, another one that is training really good. Wonder why. And Tom Hadler. Put arms around like that, yes. And here we go. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. You're all going to. I all I want to get rid of all of you lads, so really don't care if you if you train bad in any other way than you can get others to play to train bad that wouldn't be good of course otherwise I don't care you do what you want with your career because it's over in Welling United so a new game now Hungerford Town and um, we're facing them away we really really need to be winning oh yeah and i tried to sell Trare, and the board stopped me they wouldn't accept me selling him for three thousand two hundred pounds and uh, Trare is not going to be happy about that because uh, that's one of the promises that i made was to sell him so yeah i don't really know what to do about that situation but yep yeah. Let's see what we can do here. We, I'm considering doing like this, actually. I'm bringing Nash out and putting Stag back in now because he's full fitness again. And look at this. Carey and Vincent are getting along on the midfield. That's really good. Now there's only Nathan and Rabbits and Stag and Fundy that should find each other. And then we have a complete setup here with players getting along in that way that's good let's get this game on the road let's see what we can do today away against Hungerford Town I mean um, I'm really impressed with both my players and with myself that we have actually reached a position where we are whoa, fighting for for <clears throat> for a playoff position and we actually have a quite a good chance of reaching that promised land but uh, yeah this is not good <clears throat> uh, hunger for the are the ones that are creating the chances that's not good at all good save by Egan there though but this is not starting of first five minutes and they've been creating three really good chances here. And we are being played with. They are so much better than us, but Tommy Egan has started out really good. So let's hope we can continue that. And let's hope that we can get ourselves into this game. I'm going to shout to demand more because I feel that we are a lot better than we 
shown here in the start of the game. Here's a free kick, a chance for us, and it goes out. And it scores! Evan Gumps makes it 1 0 for Welling. Great, lads. Great, great, great. Holy smokes. And how many points will that put us up to 70? Yes, and we are passing by Billiclay at the moment. Billiclay, who are they facing? They are facing Maidstone. So that's a top... That's a top... Uh, oh, we are up to sixth position. Hampton is having problems as well against Sloth. And yeah. Come on, Welling. This is good. Uh, here's Vincent. He's uh, starting to melt into the team. Oh, good one, Fundy. And, oh, not so good one. You should have passed Stag there, so maybe Stag could have scored. There's Vincent with the corner. Interesting. You can see that I can see now that we have actually players getting in there in the areas so that the ball doesn't automatically end up in the the opponent's uh, hands and they they are no longer just heading it away or taking the ball away without even having anybody to challenge now my players are challenging for the ball in uh, at the corners so that's that's nice to see so yeah i'm not going to leave that up to the to the default settings anymore. I'm gonna change the and let's go here. Oh I'm gonna change in the free kick situations as well, to be honest. Um but of course it's not going to happen today and it's not going to happen this season. I might be experimenting and, and try to find um things to do with it. Um during the, the the summer break and I'm not taking I'm not talking about our summer break because I don't think I'm gonna be having a summer break especially not now that we are closing on on Christmas and stuff like that I don't, really don't know if this episode is coming out before or after Christmas but it's in the Christmas area time wise so because I'm trying to record as many episodes as I can when I am free. Yes, another goal for Welling. As I say, I'm trying to record as many episodes as I can when I'm free because I do have a work that I need to to handle as well, and I do have um, things to take care of in my life oh so yeah that's uh, that's why i record as many episodes as i can when i can uh, find the time to do it and then i cut them and then i put them up and they are a sort of um already decided a long time before Oh, gets released. Oh, a penalty for them. That's not good. Come on, Egan. So, I mean, I'm not going to be... As long as I, I can't do this for, for, um, for a living, I'm not going to be able to talk to you about what's happening in the world of football because... I'm still in October, and this is going to go out on the on YouTube in December. So, yeah. So yeah, it's it's not going to be any interesting for you to. Oh, good run by Victor Fundy. It's not going to be very interesting for you to hear me talk about stuff that is relevant in October, two months from now, when. Yeah, anything can happen. Ole Gunnar might have been sacked from Manchester United or 
might have brought up Manchester United to the first position in the league. I don't know. So I'm not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Welling. And Welling is going good here now. We have 3-1 away against Hungerford. And we're in sixth position. And of course it's tied here with the points. Hampton and Billy Clay has the same, exact same points. We are better off in goal difference. We have 28 in goal difference. They have 20 and 19. So that's why we are where we are. And yeah, this is actually kind of good. Let's see if we can't. Oh, well, it's... There's Carey. Carey to Vincent. Back to Carey. Carey hoisted up, but I don't know why Fundy didn't run on that one. If he was offside or something, perhaps. And that's a good ball out to Etherington. And oh, three chances. We couldn't get the ball away in three chances. That's crappy. Let's not give them any more opportunities now blow the game over please judge Ugh. we did win but they were close to getting them themselves back into that game but let's be happy that we won i should have been angry about the second half there because we didn't do a good second half we almost lost our uh, a good lead well, we didn't. It was the last 30 minutes, one could say, that we were kind of bad. But yeah, okay. Let's go here now. Rabbits is tired. But I guess we will have a couple of days until the next game. A week. That's good. Our players will be rested and that's all nice and good. We have the transfer windows here now that are closing and we are not allowed to decide that he should be leaving, so that's no good. Let's see, perform well in training lately, gain and need better challenges, has gained match experience in higher level, the squad less de desirable characters I have had here lately. <sighs> yeah, it's, he's going down, this is not good. He's not training very well. I'm very disappointed in him, but he's been playing good in the games, so I don't want to take him away from the first team, actually. Because I think he's the best right midfielder that we have anyway. He's been playing the best anyway. Might not have the best numbers, but he's been playing the, uh, the best of my players here and um, yeah that, that has meant that this one oh he's green now so he's been as he's actually accomplished that which he he can now play on the left that's good that's really really good actually and we can't we don't have to worry about that anymore um, but we still need rabbits to get back in fitness. We need pain to get in fitness. A lot of players that are really bad in fitness. And yeah, we have a lot of players. I know too many players. That's for sure. And yeah, but let's move on. Let's continue our travels to uh, the next game. Bugner, if I pronounce that right, I don't know. Tottenham take in Foden. Is that City's Foden? Yeah, Phil Foden from City. Mm. What? Did he play good against Tottenham? I'm going to be ready to take it. Yeah, they're going to try and buy him for a hundred million pounds. Are City going to release him? That's a good question. Question from the BBC London. 
I'm not going to comment on anything like that. Let's move on. The transfer window closes pretty soon. We can't sign anything because of the the takeover thing that is happening. So I'm not really interested in doing anything like that. I just want to go get this season over with, so to speak. But um, yeah, I'm hoping we can do a good thing. Sackcloth. Oh, he was looking great, that player. Um, okay, he's not going to be interested in signing for us. We cannot. Okay. So we lose out on that one. No, he actually rejects Epps Fleet as well. So he can still be free agent next season. But we will see. We'll have to wait and see. Let's continue here. Transfer deadline has passed. That's good. Now we can concentrate on ending this season as good as possible. And uh, yeah, feels nice. Let's see how things will end up here. Let's see what happens. Fisher no longer concerned about promise. Okay, I couldn't lend him out. But what happened with him? Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't sign anybody. I've spoken to Rory and they're happy that we made move to strengthen the first team squad in midfield as promised. Yeah. So he does, he believes that we have strength in our midfield. Perkins believe we haven't hmm. and he's in the fact that we haven't strengthened it so yeah and he's unhappy that he didn't and he's unhappy they the last two wanted to go out on loan and i couldn't fix that i tried um I, there really should be some way for me to <sighs> This is a player that I want to sign, but I'm not allowed to, no, of course not. And I think uh, it's irritating. Let's see what else they, there is a player there from Manchester United. Good player. Let's put him on the shortlist. Mosula. Only one jello there. I don't think I want him. This one. Let's put him on the short list. This one. Yeah, he's got some good numbers there. Let's put him on the short list as well. If we can sign, they are players that have left teams like. Manchester City and stuff like that. The chance of me getting any of these players are so small. So extremely small. But maybe, just maybe there is a small little chance. And um, of course then I would like to try them out. And let them sign for, for, for us. Here's an Oscar Thorne. Yeah, let's put him on the short list as well these are all this should be good players down here they might not be good players in the Premier League but they should be good players down here I'm actually going to take another look at this one he's got a good work rate so let's see if we put him on the short list as well we don't know maybe some of them wants to join us maybe some of them will be clubless halfway into the next season and then they will accept an offer for from little welling and yeah i need to get i need to play so that i can prove that i am a good player and so on and so forth and maybe we can get a one or two good seasons out of them and then they leave for a better team so he's happy i promise kept more time to keep trial promise yeah, he's been giving me more time. 
Happy promise kept. Strengthening that he's be, been placed with the midfields being very, very. Sam Kelly's happy to stay. Staff contracts. I thought I didn't have to do this. I'm just going to give them what they want. Yeah, do like that. And I want to try and get as long a contract as I can. I mean, this is probably where I'm going to lose a lot of money because I have no wishes to do this. And I'm pretty sure I, I did put in this to be handled by other ones in the... I thought I'd delegated that sort of work, but I guess I didn't. Bugnar Regis Town. Interesting. Let's see if we can't get another win here. So we are losing money really bad here. That's not good. And... Paul Webstyle retire. He's been the chairman since February. I mean, hello. He will retire on the 22nd of May as a, as a chairman. But I really hope that everything will be over long before that with the takeover and stuff like that. I want to be able to talk to players and try to sign a couple of players but we're in April now there's going to be some uh, youth players coming in now as well that's going to be interesting to see if we can get anything out of that if I'm not mistaken we did improve our youth recruitment so uh, yeah that's good maybe we can get some a good player or two this time around. Let's give him a praise as well. And let's just get on with it. Let's get to the game against Bogna. Bogna Regis Town. 16th in the do in the league here. Let's see what we can do against them. Small will deal with poor pitch as best possible. Yeah, so our pitch is bad as, as well, I guess, here. Let's see here now. We are in the sixth position. <sighs> I'm hoping we can climb even more. Let's see the club info facilities. Is it here that we can see how the... The well in the stadium... No. New stadium condition is average. Under his on the roof, the surface, pitch dimension, pitch condition, very poor. That's not good. We risk getting injuries and stuff like that, so yeah. We really should be um, fixing our pitch, but we can't do that. We don't have any money for, to do that. I have wasted too much money in trying to sign players, so not good. But we're going to play at home now, so maybe a small deposit into our bank account. Maybe we will be able to to uh, reach a, a situation where we don't have rent numbers. But I think we're going to be we're never going to get twenty two thousand. So that's uh, a dream. It's going to be hard. When United returns to the fans, led by local investor, has finally completed its takeover of the club from former Shem. Okay. McFarlane revealed that he was delighted that the club now belongs to the thousands of fans who care passionately for the future of Welling United. So the fans have bought up and taken control. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Club vision, vision should be pretty much the same. Top half, top half. Qualifying there, confirming right when repairing the finances. Then they want playoff, playoff, playoff. It's, it's pretty much the same. And the board lift the transfer embargo. So I think I'm going to go in. No, not there. Yeah, right here. These are all the players that I have put into here. And I want to see if any of them are interested in signing for me. He's not. Fabio Faria. Nah, I'm going to do that off camera. Because it's way too many players to keep an eye on. I'm going to do that off camera in between game in between the episodes and um, yeah in the summer not uh, not the summer for us real people but in the summer in this game I'm gonna have a look at what I can sign and can't sign and we're gonna be playing the same team and they're all back in full fitness which is brilliant Let's hope that we can continue in this positive way and, and uh, keep ourselves up there running for the promised land of getting into the playoffs. It would have been great to be playing, playing in the playoffs. The dream is to get to Wembley, as I've said before so many times Wembley can give a lot of money here they will have a chance I guess dangerously here now get the ball lads no don't let them create a chance they're gonna pass by our defensive lineup no that Vincent steals it and Fundy here's Staggs Staggs have a chance to score here but it gets out of the angle there but here's Nathan Gets it into Kerry. Kerry drops the ball and they are going to get a counter-attacking chance here. And oh no, Payne, good, well played, Payne, going back like that and and picking up the ball. Here's Egan hoisting it up very far, but nothing comes of it. Interesting couple of seconds there, and yeah. What a season this has been with ups and downs and I feel like we are in a good run at the moment. We are, are having that uh, form that we had in the beginning of this. Oh, it's been disallowed. He was offside. But I feel that we have been into that form that we started the season. And if we can keep this up for the, the, the six games that are left of this season, we we should be reaching the promised land because we played so well that that in the in the beginning of the season and we score Vincent Francis Vincent score for us and we're one nil up against Bagno so can we get three points out of this one we we need it to we need the three points because it's going good for both. Mm, Maidstone and Billy Clay, I, I guess. No, Maidstone is actually behind Eastbourne Borough. So, yeah. They seem to be losing. Anyway, we are. But Billy Clay is actually having a good lead against Epps Fleet. That's weird. Anyway, as I said. We need these three points. Let's pour up the last of the Pepsi. 40 minutes into the game. Come on, lads. Let's not drop this. Just keep your heads. Take the ball. That's good one, Perkins. That's Kerry now. Can you find a good pass here? No, you couldn't. Let's see, they are breaking that one. Can we? Yeah, that one goes to Stags. 
He holds that ball quite good. Gates it to Nathan. Nathan. He shoots. Oh, it's a good save. Or maybe I should say it's a poorly executed shot there because it, there wasn't much power in that shot, that's for sure. But we seem to be having a lead after the first half. I'm going to pump my fist and I'm going to tell them that they've been good, but they can be better. You can always be better. 773 attendants. You see, I can actually get it right sometimes. 50 minutes. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. And everybody seems to be looking good in their fitness. <clears throat> so 55 minutes and uh, Bogner hasn't had a single shot so we, we really have been dominated the game but we've only scored one goal which is a shame because we really could use a couple of goals so that we we could sort of be feel secure and, and uh, feel that we we are in the driving seat here Really, really, this is nerve-wracking actually, a 1-0, oh hey, good by Nathan, a 1-0 lead is no lead at all I guess, but yes Nathan, oh, that's, oh, we're gonna get a corner, we're gonna have to see them, you can see they're already now that, that they are in the area where the ball is coming, that's such a difference from before. The corners were totally useless before, and yeah, now that we have a little chance of getting something out. It's rabbits to Payne. Payne gets it to Stag. Stag scores! And there it is, 2-0. Come on, lads. Now we have a lead that we could fight, can fight for. I can feel a little more secure. But still 20 minutes to go. I know I've lost out on leads like this before. I don't want to jinx it, but come on. We can keep this. We always want to score more, of course. We, we're never, never satisfied. But, oh, come on. 10 minutes to go. Let's not lose this lead. Let's hold on to this lead. Uh-oh. The things are going, looking for the worst now. Get the ball, lads. You have to stop them from getting a chance here. And they... Thank you, Gumps, for getting rid of that one. But I think that the real hero was Perkins in the duel with the striker there. Where he got the ball away from just in front of the striker. Really good. And we seem to be actually be winning this game. Three minutes to go. And Egan is going to hoist it up. And this is this might be giving. No, we take the ball back and we hoist it up. A lot of long balls back and forth. But now they come. And good tackle by Payne. Gets the ball up. Has Stags. Has Vincent. No, bad, bad pass by Payne, takes it up anyhow, no, it's not Payne, it's, it's Nathan, Nathan gets it in, and there is Fundy, 3-0, 3-0, the game is over, we have won it, and we stay in the promised land, we are now three points ahead of Hampton, and but we need to continue to play like this, we need to continue and we need to become we need to get there to that to that we need to reach that promised land and i can taste it now i can taste that we have a good chance of getting there i feel like we are getting we are in a good place now but we have an extremely tough game to go now dulwich hamlet <sighs> the leaders of the table The weird thing is that <clears throat> they were the, the the 
punching bag or whatever you call it last season until they were faced against us and they won their first game of the season with 4-0 against us. After that, they, it's just been going better and better for Dulwich. And now they are top of the table here and um, pretty much dominating this division. So that's going to be a very tough game. And uh, yeah, we have 30 in goal difference, which is really in our favor here because we we are really 10 goals ahead of both of them and 12 uh, ahead of Maidstone. So if we should end up on the same points, we should still be reaching higher than the other ones. <clears throat> but this is incredible. We are up at, we are back at fifth position. We were there in the beginning of the season and then we've been struggling the entire mid season. And now we're sort of back and uh, I'm just, to be honest, I do have a little worry now, to be honest. I mean, when we get in here, look at this. We have been playing well the last couple of games. We have this Dulwich Hamlet game. And if we do a good game against them, I guess the morale could be that we can continue and we can end up um, in the promised land uh, and reach that player but if we lose against them and especially if we lose with a lot of goals that might screw up the entire rest of the season because we might end we might find ourselves in a situation where we can't get back morally so to speak and and we can't maybe we can't reach that um faith in ourselves to to be able to do something so it's an important game now i really would have loved to have that as a very last game of the season when everything was over with and we were there in the promised land but i don't decide the fixtures i'm just gonna have to play them when they come so <clears throat> This episode, we have two more games to go. And then we only have one episode left. Unless we stay on the prom in the promised land. Um, then if we reach the promised land, we have at least one more episode to go after that. And uh, yeah, that's interesting. As I said, I'm going to... I'm going to do like this because I'm pretty sure that if we reach the promised land, we will have um, a home and away game. And let's see, um, three teams, six. I mean, then we, let's see, we face that one. That's going to be three, no, two. Two, that's going to be a quarterfinal, semifinals, and a final. I'm not saying that I'm going to be facing them like that. I'm just saying that that's the way I think it's going to go. Uh, that we're going to get a home and away game. And if we win that one, we'll get a home and away game. And if we win that one, we're in the final at the Wembleys. And that's only going to be one game. So... <clears throat> Yeah, and then I'm actually going to do uh, the episodes where I do the home and away game. And if we go through there, there will be another episode with a home and away game. And if we go through there, there will be an episode with just the game from Wembley. And I think I'm going to do that in a way that we're going to have at least extended highlights, maybe even show the entire game or something like that. I haven't decided yet, but it's going to be interesting to see what we are going to have, what's going to happen if we reach the final. It would have been extremely cool and it would have been extremely cool to just have a single episode about that game that's for sure I mean I wish I could have done this full time because I 
I've had I've I do have a lot of plans of things that you that I could do in order to make this a more interesting and and more fun experience to look upon. Um, but I have a work that I need to go to, so I can't I can't do too much outside of playing and recording and editing it and then uploading it. it it takes all the time that i have over so or left it, it takes a little more time than i really have to be honest but uh, yeah but it's in interesting here I i'm hoping that we can make a good game against dolwich now if we can try and get a point against them and then get back into winning ways against Dartforth and Bath and stuff like that. We should be able to continue to get that playoff. We should not be running away and saying that we're going to be playing playoff games because we are far from there. But it seems to be a sellout. So a lot of spectators going to be there looking at when looking on when we are going to face Dulwich. And it's going to be a tough one because we're going to be playing away. So yeah. I'm just going to praise him. And that's it. I'm, I don't have time for the other ones. Let's go now. I want to get into this game. I want to get this over with. It's going to be a nerve-wracking game. I just hope that right winger that they have would have been great if he could be injured or something because I think he is probably the big reason that things have changed in the way that it, that it has for them. He seems to be a brilliant young footballer and seems to have come from their their um, youth system so I don't know if they found him or if they just brought him up from their own but it's interesting to see that that can happen here and now we have a good work between rabbits and Nathan there as well. Fitness seems to be okay. We're going to go on to this game and come on, lads. Let's give these league leaders a fight for the money. We are, of course, going to be pumping our fist and we're going to... We have been run ready to go out there and impress me. I should... Wasn't there a underdogs things? That, nope. Should we go out and impress me then? Here we go. The game is on the way. I was expecting them to have a chance or two at the moment, but they haven't. Had. It doesn't seem like they're... No, he doesn't seem to be playing. He's on the bench there. He's a striker now, not an attacking. No, that's an attacking midfielder right there. If he's leaving, if he doesn't sign a contract with them and he's leaving, I'm going to try my very best to to snap him up because I think he can be a really good signing. So yeah, and I guess I'm going to be have. I, I, I think I'm going to be facing him sooner or later in this game. I think they're just resting him now. So I think he's going to come in before the game is over. So Done good, quite well so far. Half an hour. They are, of course, they've had five shots and three on target, even if we're, there haven't been any highlights. So there haven't been anything that dangerous. But uh, let's get stuck in because... We are being run over here just because they haven't shown any chances. 
the, the, you can see that there's still six shots and four on target. Seven, five. So they are really banging us. They are really giving us hell. And we are already three players that has been booked. They have two players booked. And the first half ends like it did here. Let's pump our fist and try to find a situation to do something good in this second half. Players still with good form, good fitness. Still haven't seen the Polish player coming in. That's good for us, I think. As long as they keep him off the pitch. Let's do always press there. One hour into the game, still goalless. 3,000 attendance is 2,923. That's a lot. I don't think we've had a single highlight moment in this game. I shouldn't complain. A goalless draw, I would take that any day of the week against Dulwich. Especially this season where they have played so very good that they have. They're top of the table for a reason. And the reason is that they have played brilliant this season. So a goalless draw against them would be really thankful. I would be thankful for that. And Nath Payne is tired. So, and I only have Callum to take, to put in there. Yeah, let's give him a chance. And Tom Stax is tired, so Liam Nash is going to come in. And the defense seems to be working all right, so let's keep this going. And, oh no, they are having a chance here. I was so hoping we could, yeah, Egan grabbing that ball, that's good, and he's going to hoist it long. Let's hope that they don't grab that ball. Here's Nash, and he scores! Oh my god! Oh my god! We take the lead in the 88th, 89th minute, we take the lead, and this Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We are close. We are in the promised land. We are having the lead against this season's really high performance. And here we have another chance, but now it's going to go to a chance for Dulwich. No, 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 don't. Oh, and they come again. Um, oh, yes. Got to get that ball away from this side of the pitch. Thank you, Nathan. Keep running with the ball. And Nash puts the second one into the net there. We have won this game. Marvellous, lads. We have taken revenge on Dulwich for what they did to us last season. And, oh my God. That was truly something. Oh, I can hardly breathe. Holy moly. As I said, this looks like it's going to end in a good way. I don't know if I want to gain promotion, but reaching the promised land here with playoff, that is marvellous. Uh, and we're just dreaming of a final at Wembley, but that's that's what looking way, way too long ahead. We need, first of all, to get to the playoff. After that, we need to to win at least two challenges before we can reach the final at Wembley. So long, long, long way to go. But this was a really dream come true. And I think we were lucky that they didn't use uh, the Polish player. Um, I was surprised that it didn't bring him on. So, yeah, but uh, I can finally breathe here. Hoo-hoo, yeah, yeah. Not, they're probably not going to be able to reach the promised land, any of them. So I'm going to have to take that a look at that off camera. But it looks like it's all crappy youth 
player, so. Oh my god. We have one more game to play this episode, and it's Darth Ford at home. And I'm just ecstatic now. I'm um This is marvelous. Looking at this, we have Darth Form now. And then in the last episode, if we don't reach the playoff, the last episode is Bathway, Hemel Hempstead Town away, and then Sloth at home. Didn't we end the season with Sloth last year as well? And we ended... No, we didn't. I thought we did that. Ended the season with a game against Sloth, but we didn't with that, where we played Sloth. Then we played really bad at the end of the season. Let's hope we don't end up Play, or was it this? No. This was our first season. And we ended the season. Yeah, alright. This was the second season and the second season. But this does, that doesn't add up. Alright, we have Sloth, Hamilton. I guess we have pressed something that we shouldn't do. It should be on the dates. Like that, yes. Yeah, that's right. And then we go back. And we look at the very... Yeah, we did end the season with a game against Sloth. That's, I did remember right. I just pressed somewhere I shouldn't have. So, yeah, we ended up the season quite well. Uh, they had a very bad run here and a very bad run here last season, but we did end uh, quite in a good way. So let's hope that we can do that this season as well, end in a good way. We have a couple of games now in a row where we haven't lost a point. We haven't been, We haven't lost since February, and we're in April now. That's good. And we now only have one game left in this episode. And it's... It's... I don't know really. I'm lost for words at the moment. And, um, yeah. But um, it's going to be an interesting end to this season. Really, really cool. We're back. We're down to 10,000 actually in in our thingamajing here and we are net debt at 40,000 so yeah bank loans have been taken out again oh crap we need to do something about that raw wages problem because we are not making money we are losing money but oh my god we seem to be reaching the promised land with some playoff games. Still a long way to go because we have four more games to play before this is over. And before we can say that we are in a playoff position. And yeah. I don't really know what to say at the moment. I'm just... <sighs> I'm just lost for words. I'm bamboozled about us give, getting the, the win against Dulwich. That was just such a tremendous thing. And, and I sort of... Well, they've had a very bad form to look at this. They've only won one... They've only won one game out of the last five ones. So maybe we were not that good. We were just... Uh, getting them in their worst <sighs> oh, this is a cool thing everybody that are fighting for promotion here they we can see the last games that they have and the position in the league we're in the fifth so it should have been more interesting to the t with the teams fighting to reach the playoff but this is cool as well we can see that we are too far away to be able to to catch up with Dulwich of course uh, or are we four points that's 12 points right four games and we are actually 
only nine points after them, but they'll have to lose every single game that they have left for us to reach that. And then the teams under them needs to lose their games as well. So we're, I know that we're never going to get that position. And as I've said, I want to... I want to get to the playoffs. I love to reach the final, but I think it's too early for us to go up to the next division. I don't think there is any anything for us to be able to, should I say, have a chance of even staying in that division. I don't think we have the players. I don't think we have the the possibilities to to play up there. So. I think we need to stay in this division and perhaps gain promotion next season if we can continue to play as well as we've done this season. I think we have a good chance of, of reaching a promotion next season. But I think it's too early this season. So we need to build slowly because we don't want to to uh, have be in too much of a rush and then the club doesn't develop quick enough to hang to to really not hang what's what's the word i'm looking for to be able to sustain itself in a higher division now we have the one of the reasons i, I picked welling because of two things uh, and that is because every time i've played uh, and i've looked down welling has always been a bottom team and I wanted to start as far down as I could and take over a really a team that struggles to stay in this division when the computer is taking care of it. And the other fact that I chose Welling was actually because they have a capacity of 4.5 thousand spectators, which I find is quite a lot. So yeah, especially uh, quite a lot for this, for a team in the, in this position as it is, uh, that has been fighting to stay in this division season after season. And uh, yeah, and maybe I am the answer for Welling to start finding a way up the table here. Uh, let's see. Mm. Mm. Now it would, would of course be uh, better if we could have been a professional club so that we could use every single training um, position here. That would have been cool. But, um, yeah, hopefully that will come later on. Uh, Vanarama Samson shortlist announced. The 10 men shortlist in the Vanarama South was announced today. The award is voted by club manager. I don't know. I don't want to vote. I haven't looked at any other team than ourselves. Let's see what we, if there is anybody I can rare recognize that we've had problem. That's uh, one of the players that we've had a problem with. Let's give him our vote. Rose. We have actually have Tom Staggs being one of the players that can win this prize. So let's hope that he will. That's cool if we could. Yeah, Haley's. I don't give a rat's ass about him because he's going to leave as soon as his contract is up. I'm going to kick him out of the club. Welling against Dartford. This is going to be interesting. Oh, and Stag and Fundy has found each other as well. Now every everything is lined up together here. So now... The familiarity is really high. Oh, we can end this season in a good way. Come on, Pierre. come on, lads. Let's get another three pointer here. Let's pump our fist. Let's go with that one. Let's kick off and see what we can do. 
77 points. So we're still a couple of points uh, ahead of Hampton, but we still need to keep up our winning ways if we want to stay in this because every team here is fighting to get get us down from that position so yeah let's press Ryan Nelson oh no A free kick for them and they score oh come on Let's not fall into something bad here now. We've just beaten Dulwich, the outstanding leaders of the division. And now we're going to get ourselves kicked by Darthford? Are you kidding me? Yeah, come on, lads. Rabbits. To Nathan. He gets the ball through there, but it goes back and... But we keep the ball in our possession. And Fundy, it's the post! So close, so close, so close. Come on. Last game of this episode. And I really want to end this episode in a good way. Here's Johnson to Payne. Payne hoisted up to Fundy. Fundy on the run. Fundy shoots. Fundy misses the goal. Crap. Come on, lads. I know we're still two points ahead of these team he teams here, but and Maidstone are behind against Braintree, but it doesn't help me that much. It helped me to stay up, but I need to be able to get these points. Now they have a dangerous free kick again here, and oh, Egan just standing there looking upon that, and uh, yeah. It's been going so well now the last couple of games, so I'm afraid to change in Tom Hadler again, but maybe he should be the one be in goal because he 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 has been doing some really good things for us when he did when he was in between the post, but uh, yeah, I don't know. nobody's really low in fitness, so I'm gonna have to. Right, so I'm going to continue with the same players in the second half. Dressing room. I'm going to pump my fists. And I want to see a lot better second half than that. Nothing happens here. Let's go into some attacking mode here because we need to score. I'll, I'll rather get one in the back then then not trying to score here and we're gonna have to demand more but it's it's Darth Ford with a new chance and they score again let's put in Tom Hadler for the rest of the game this is not good Come on, we beat the crap out of Dulwich, and now we're going to get ourselves beaten by Darth Ball. Are you kidding me? It's such an irritating... It's really irritating, and nothing happens here. I don't know what i can do let's do me and let's go there and then let's yeah we are we're gonna play like that for now here we have a chance let's, uh, come on ah. sonny carry was offside they and we take the ball here yeah vincent's with a pass to fundy can fundy get it into stacks Stag, yeah, he can, and it's a goal! We pull one back. Come on, lads. We need two more. We need three points. We need three points. Come on, put more pressure on them. Yeah, let's give him, yeah, Stag's carry. Come on, let's turn this around here, Stag. Stag, and he scores! It's 2-2! We're back in it! 
we are here with a chance again. Oh my god. What a game again that my lads are doing. Can we get one more? Can we turn this around? And I'm lost for words again here. But yeah, coming back from 2 0 down to 2 2. Let's hope that we can find one more. I'm, I'm gonna put everything up for, for a grab now because we really need to grab this winning. And I'm gonna do actually, I'm gonna push him up a bit and I'm gonna play him as an inside forward attack like that. Let's see if any if that was a good or a bad decision. It's Fundy. There's Johnson. He gets the ball into Stags. And it's a penalty! It's a penalty! Come on, Stag! Oh score, score, score! Yes! 3-2! We have turned the game around! Oh my god! What a game by my lads. Uh, and it's 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 game like this that really puts the smile on one's face and, and games like this that can be so important for the entire season here. But now they have a chance to counter attack here and they get a chance to score and they do. Bloody, bloody hell. That wasn't very good. Fundy, Gumps, Perkins, Carey, Carey tries to find Stags and Stags is through and Stags, oh! My God, King, hoist the ball out, Carey wins that, Fundy one wins that, Stags is there but he can't get the ball and here's another chance for, no, that's, Carey is going to be sent off. And it's five minutes left to play and we are one guy down and this is going to this is going to be a hard couple of these last minutes is he's going to have to be continued to playing as a box to box but i really don't know how we are going to be able to keep this I am thinking, should I take out Fundy or, yeah, I'm going to take out Fundy and put in Duro actually, and let uh, Vincent back out on the side and then bring down Duro and let Stag run up there all by himself. Let's put it like this. Confirm, pause, because we need to play positive now. We need to not put our everything. We need to take this point and be happy about this point. Oh my God. We were so close to turn this around and they sort of got that equalizer in the end. Kind of depressing, um, but it still was a great comeback. And that last game, last goal was probably my fault. I should have, when we scored three two, I should have brought it back down to to play like we do in normal cases. This was not good to be honest. And now Carey is banned for one game, so we're going to have to do without him. Stags scoring all three goals for us. Again. And uh, we're actually done with this episode. And the next one is the last one for this season. If we can't reach playoff, if we have playoffs, we're going to be 
at least having one more episode after that one. <sighs> it's been a disappointing last game. Other than that, three winnings here and the win against Dulwich was something else. Really something else. And surprisingly, and perhaps most surprised was the fact that they didn't use their that right midfielder that seems to be in such a, such a important player for them. But do like, subscribe and all that nice stuff. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I certainly have. And um, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye-bye.